today. From Ford Field in Detroit. This is Madden NFL 21. Stafford and the Detroit Lions taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375, that's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Buccaneer offense taking the field with all eyes in the stadium glued to their quarterback in season number 21. His first, of course, in Tampa, the great Tom Brady. If you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and you have a chance to get Tom Brady, you take that opportunity, even though Jameis Winston is your quarterback last year, threw for over 5,100 yards but he also threw 30 interceptions. Tom Brady threw just eight in New England last season. They figured that can be the difference to get that team into the playoffs and maybe back to the Super Bowl. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. Now a look at Smith, not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. down line was this defense created their own line of scrimmage they won every battle up front and a lot of times that is one-on-one -on -one. and if you win your one-on-ones enough times your defense is going to be pretty good they have more people to the football and snuffed out the play So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. 
Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Detroit gearing up for their opening drive here, led by Matthew Stafford, the veteran former number one pick back in 2009. When I think of Matthew Stafford in Detroit, I think of numbers, and I mean passing numbers. 40,000 yards passed in his career last year before a back injury landed him on the IR after just eight games. And to show his value to the team, the Lions lost all eight games started by either Jeff Driscoll or David Blau. They need a healthy Matthew Stafford in order to compete in the NFC North. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at the 20. He'll throw from the gun. Intended target, T.J. Hawkinson, but it'll be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Faking the give to Johnson, now it's Stafford. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. Has been a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On fourth down, the Lions trot out their new punter for 2020, Jack Fox, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively, you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. From the gun on third down, Brady. Drops this one off to McCoy underneath. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. down looking for Godwin and he's got him complete seven yards the pick up there 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Shotgun now for Brady. That is caught inside the five. And the Buccaneers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Here we go now on first and goal. From the gun, it's Brady. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bucks have taken a first quarter lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 27. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. Call it a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing again on second down. Stafford caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports.
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now here's Carrion Johnson, third year man from Auburn. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Well, there's zero doubt that the Detroit Lions like carry on Johnson's ability, but he's been dinged up a little bit in his first two years in the NFL, so they went out and used a day two pick this past year on DeAndre Swift, the rookie runner out of Georgia, hoping, I think, to pair them together and maybe send a message. But I think if carry on Johnson can stay on the field, he could be an awfully productive back in the NFL. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. To throw again on second down. Stafford, and down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Devin White, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump it for a loss of eight. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Here's Jack Fox now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now, heading back out onto the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a 1st and 10 at their own 11. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second down, it's Jones. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. 
because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now he'll throw with Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Brady's throw there complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. from the gun. Brady. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Four yards the pick up. First down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. From midfield, here's Brady. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. We can't have that. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Brady to throw again. Over the middle to Evans. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Again, it's Brady. They'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. The well, Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Brady again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. That throw by Brady incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. 
Again, they'll throw with Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And these guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the gun, Stafford will find Swift out of the backfield. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Operating from the gun. Stafford. And Amendola with a catch. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot before the break. Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It's something we've said a million times, but we were treated to a fine performance in the first half from Tom Brady. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. to start the second half and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. To return, here's Agnew. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And they start the second half with Johnson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. 
It's the former Lion and Dominican Sue on the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, you have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good record. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. But I believe the Lion was there to recover it. Yes, they will indeed keep possession. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. From the gun, Stafford throwing deep for Galladay. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 35. A big play on third down for the Lions. 48 yards. Well, he's definitely a big target out there, listed as six foot four, and he used every one of those extra inches to go up and make that catch. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Operating from the gun. Stafford, a slant to Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now Stafford. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be third down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. From the gun on third down, Stanford. He's got his man, T.J. Hackinson. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's the first carry for Bo Scarborough. And, and he's going to take it in for a line touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And Charles, when you catch that toss going right or left, really, but right in this instance, do you go straight for the pylon? Is that where you're going? Well, typically you want to try to maneuver people a little bit so you have some space to get to the pylon. So I want to make sure I try and move them a little bit to the inside, and in this case to the left, so I can get to the right side and get to that pylon and wink at it as I go by. Now Matt Prater for the point after. He 
It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. On the return, Ogan Bawale. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. That's not good enough, man. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. And the holding penalty sets him back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Out of the shotgun, it's McCoy. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and eight coming from the 19. Working from the gun, it's Brady. A quick pass here to Godwin. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 16 yards, a first down. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the counter, here's Jones. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Brady. That's caught by Howard. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. From the gun, Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and eight coming up. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Hey, 
to throw is Brady. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. It's spotted at the 14-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. He'll get this one to Gallaudet. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Shaquille Barrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you get a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or very lights quickly. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford over the middle, it's Amendola. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn, as they've got it first and 10.
shotgun now for Brady. Drops this one off to McCoy underneath. That catch good for only a couple. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pickup there just in front of the two-minute warning. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. But well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. <laughs> to throw is Brady. complete and he gets us down inside the 35 before going out of bounds that one a first down pickup of eight okay so now the question how did he get that wide open well we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game he was circled starred everything find him cover him but sometimes you can scheme a guy open you put the receivers in a bunch, maybe you move some motion, maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Now Jones. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. Yeah. 
And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So Stafford and the Lions now down 14 to 7, under a minute 20 to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. closing moment not only with the pass rush but how well they're coached because if you don't quite get there get to the quarterback get your hands up into the passing lane and knock it away as we just saw there back to throw another throw for Galladay this one complete and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 give him 14 on that one and a first down Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From the 50 at Stanford. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He's back to throw. And it is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now Stafford. He'll get this off to Swift. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.